film, set between the rarefied atmosphere of a mountain ski resort and the industrial valley below, pivots around Simon, a 12-year-old child seeking love. Simon lives with his sister, Louise, who is constantly in and out of jobs, battling with boyfriends and leaving her young brother to be the main breadwinner. This he does by stealing skis and ski clothing from up top to sell in the valley below. There is an underlying sentiment of the haves and have-nots, those that exist out of sight beneath the clouds, but this is merely inferred through the excellent cinematography of Agnes Goddard and is not the main thrust of the film, which eloquently deals with the emotional and physical hardships which encircle Simon, just as the camera circles with a panopticon gaze around the grim tower block in which he lives. Albeit that Simon's exploits are one of deceit and cunning, you feel for the boy and his desperate attempt to anchor his emotions, his longing for a fantasy mother to anything or anybody in a world where he is constantly rejected and a world where little else exists other than the one he's created. His imploring eyes carry little weight in this harsh continuum and the soundtrack taps into the emotional uncertainties within the film's rhythm. As his sister flits between boyfriends, Simon senses even his minimal security drifting out of his orbit and in a dramatic scene midway through the film, his sense of propriety comes flooding out and shifts the film's narrative into an unforeseen trajectory. From this point on, the tenor changes and is compelled to witness the deep emotional scars of both brother and sister. Simon literally bargains with money for the smallest show of love to curl up beside her in bed to be close to someone. When he asks his sister to hold me a little, she finally relents, but also takes his money. The film sweeps across numerous encounters. We see Simon's friend teasing that, cool, no one gives you shit. But this could be construed as, nobody gives a shit about you. Either way, the existential reality of both is there, and Simon merely carries on with the job in hand. His existence is a trade-off with the unattainable, Wheeler dealing his stolen goods in the local what playground and among the seasonal workers from the resort. Parents. There is an I ugly scene where he is beaten up by a skier, but what is uglier is the acceptance by the onlookers that this abuse of a 12-year-old boy is justified because he has been caught stealing. Shortly after this, we encounter Simon in one of the toilets, violently tensing his fists in a state of shock and working out how to control his situation. The film is one of rich observation interlinked with sharp visual and moral indices beautifully directed by Ursula Mayer, pitch-perfect editing and a soundscape and music that fits effortlessly into the terrain of the film. Sister has the humanist veracity of a Ken Loach film and an acting partnership between Louise and Simon that is utterly mesmerising.